Hi, this is Nancy Hudson with Fulton County Extension uh, with Purdue, and I am here today to present to you uh, food mixes in a jar. We are getting near the holidays, and you know, a lot of times families, they don't know what to get people, and many times our budgets are somewhat strained because we have so many people that we want to remember during the holidays. So this is just an idea uh, that you might use to give special people some special gifts because you know what many times the stuff that's made at home basically comes from the heart so people love this kind of stuff so what I want to do today is show you how to do an apricot bread mix in a jar and the first thing that you will need is a canning jar now this is a ball mason canning jar and honestly the better thing that you need is the wide mouth jar. Now this was just what I had at home, so this is what I'm gonna use. And you will find that as I start this, uh, it's gonna be a trick to get my uh, ingredients in here because that's the reason you need uh, the larger uh, jar. So the first thing I wanna, wanna say about this is when you have a recipe, make sure that you follow it. Uh, there will be certain items that you put in first and basically what you're gonna do is layer. Now let me show you this one. Uh, this is an oatmeal cookie uh, recipe and as you can see, all the way up the jar it is layered because on the bottom is brown sugar white sugar and it goes all the way up to the flour so you want to be sure and that's that's what makes it pretty so you want to do something here that gives it a little color a little variety and gosh darn it you want it pretty so let's start with this recipe and the first thing that it tells me that I need on the bottom here is a half a cup of chopped nuts. Now what I chose was pecans and I chose those because they were cheaper this week at the grocery so you're dealing with the cheaper dealer here. Now I didn't bring a funnel so I made a funnel. You know when you don't have one you make one and I'm going to put this in the bottom very carefully and then once I get that in there I want to shake that down just a little bit to where it is leveled out the next thing that goes in are the apricots now this is just candied apricots and they are a bit moist so here's my thought on this I am going to put these in a Ziploc bag, one of these little quaint little Christmas bags here. I'm going to put these in, in, in the bag simply because these will have a lot of moisture and honestly I'm not sure how it will interact with the other uh, ingredients in the jar once I get the jar full. So I think what I'm going to do is probably spill them first and just put these in here and zip them up to keep them moist and then we will later just attach this to the jar but I think that's the best thing to do with these right now. Now the next thing on the list is a half a cup of granulated sugar so let's put that in. Now this will be a trick. You think this is fun, just wait till I try to get the baking mix in, then we'll have a good time. So, you know, try to make sure that most of it gets in the jar, not outside the jar, because that's sure not going to do you any good. Now, the one thing I'm going to do here is just move this just a bit, and you can still see, you don't want to shake it now, you'll get everything surely mixed together. Uh, but you can still see that I have the nuts there uh, in the bottom layer. Now, the next thing that I need is two and a half cups of Big Quick or some type of an all-purpose baking mix. And I've got my two and a half cups, and as you'll see, I've got them in paper cups because I'm going to try to do a little thing here where I can get it to go in right. So wish me luck because I'll probably need it. Okay, there's the cup. Now also along with this, I have put in a teaspoon of baking powder. 
and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, if you will notice, once I get this out, uh, I'm just going to take my knife and just kind of level this out. So as you can see, had I put um, the apricots in this, it probably would have completely filled it. And you don't want it, you want it uh, just under the, the bottom rim here of your mason jar. So this is a good point for this to be. Now, here, and that's all that goes in this because when you're ready to give this as a gift, you will have uh, a recipe card that goes with it with the directions. Now, when people get a mix like this, they're going to have to, you know, maybe add other ingredients such as water, uh, maybe vanilla, butter, uh, eggs. So those things, obviously, I can't put in the jar. Uh, if I did, I'd be a millionaire if I could get all that in there and hope for the best, I guess. But at any rate, you can put the directions on there and then they can see what they need to do. Okay, the one thing that we want to do here is kind of clean the top of the jar off and I'm just wiping it a little bit here with a paper towel. Um, I'm going to put my lid on. And the other thing that I want to do, I want to show you here, I've got various squares or really just circles. And what I did, this is nothing scientific, but I just bought um, just some Christmas fabric that basically I found on sale. I used a salad plate from home and cut around it and that is how I made my pattern for this. Now the one that I'm going to use today I think will be the one with the holly. You want something real pretty and colorful. So after you've made your cylinder you just want to put it on top. Try to get it centered to where it'll all kind of fold over. And the reason that you use a salad plate is because you do want it to drape like this one over here does. Uh, it'll look so much better. If you cut it too small, uh, it looks like you, it looks like you cut it too small. It looks like a problem. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I have adhesive dots here and I'm going to put these dots, if they don't stick to me first, I'm going to put these dots in different corners here um, of the lid. We put one here. I usually lay about three of these in and I'm doing this so it'll hold the ribbon. And the dots, you can get those at any craft store or Walmart, uh, wherever you uh, get your craft supplies. So I've got these I won't say strategically placed, I'm not much of a strategic person, uh, but I do have them to where I think they will catch the ribbon. Now, this ribbon, you can buy, you know, ribbon anywhere, and I've basically got Christmas colors here, but I think the two that I'm going to use are the red and the green, because that's what I'm seeing here in my fabric. So, you cut off as much of this as you want. Because now remember, you're going to have to tie it too. So cut this. And then all I'm going to do is wrap this. I'm going to try to get it to stay with my glue dot here. I'm going to wrap this around. And I may have to put another dot down. Um, since I've got two ribbons on here, um, I need something to hold this red one in place. There we go. Now, the other thing that I want to do, that's being a little contrary with me, but we'll, we'll get it. The other thing that I want to do is I want to attach my directions. So I just take a a hole punch and just punch maybe right in the corner and I am going to thread 
the two ribbons through the hole here and see if I can tie this on. So all you need to do is just, like you would tie your shoes, just pull it up and make the best bow that you can. I am not a really good bow maker, but I give it my best. And I have all kinds of paper sticking to me. So here you go. Here is a gift in a jar. So here's this. I have the other two. Now this one is what I told you a second ago was my oatmeal. And the other thing now when you give these away, the oatmeal um, is here. So I had to put my oatmeal separate because my jar was so full I couldn't get it in. And it was the last thing that was to go in. And these are my candied apricots. So I will put them with that. Now the other thing that I want to show you um, this is hot chocolate mix, and all in the world that this is, is uh, powdered milk, cocoa, and a little sugar. And you blend it all together, and this jar, I bought it just a, a you know, just a, a craft store. And it already has, it's got a little gingerbread man there on the top. So I didn't really feel the necessity to put uh, a fabric on there, but I did decorate it with a uh, decorative Christmas ribbon. And then all I did was tape uh, the hot chocolate recipe on there. Because with this one, you put a couple of tablespoons of the mix in a eight ounce uh, mug of hot water, stir it, and then you want to put your marshmallows and all that good stuff on there. So that's all you need to do there. The other idea that I had, you can buy uh, these Christmas bags anywhere. So if you want, you could put uh, your items in here with your, uh, your tissue paper, and it would make a lovely gift. And I think anyone would be proud to take one of these home and follow the directions and make them. And you know, at, at Christmas time, a lot of folks are in the mood to do a lot of baking. And many times, if they've got the ingredients right in front of them, then they're gonna have milk or water, they're gonna have their eggs, uh, they're gonna have vanilla and maybe uh, margarine or butter there at home. So it's, it's no time at all just to whip these mixes up and feel pretty good about yourself at Christmas. So it's a wonderful, wonderful way to show somebody that you really care and um, wish them a Merry Christmas at the same time. So if you have any questions about this, please give me a call at Purdue Extension here in Fulton County. And it's 574-223-7749. Uh,